we're going to start essentially from where the last episode <laughs> left off. Uh, we've created a repository. And now what we want to do is push it up to GitHub. So what we're going to do is go over to GitHub. And anywhere you are, you can get to it this way, uh, up at the top right, create a new repository. So we're going to create a new repository, and we're going to call it my project, uh, same as we did locally. Well, you can add an optional description here. Good to do on any public projects for sure. Uh, we are not going to initialize this repository with a readme as we've already created a repository locally. The only thing left to do then is add a is to create the repository. It'll take a moment and then once uh, once it's done it'll pop up with this set of instructions. Up at the top here there are two options HTTP or SSH. When you click on this it changes the directions down below uh, and this is uh, two ways to reference the repository. We are going to use the bottom of set of instructions because we already have a, a local repository and so we are going to follow these directions. Uh, essentially what we do is we take the first one here and paste it into our command line. Uh, what this is doing is it's using git uh, to add a remote uh, repository and tell our local repository about it. Essentially this is a bookmark. Uh, the location is at git at github.com uh, and near Apogee is my username and my project is the name of the project itself. Uh, and we are bookmarking that under origin. And so you'll see origin several times as we move on. Um, perhaps not in this screencast but in others and so once we've done that as in Unix uh, no response is a good response uh, and so that means everything worked the next op next thing to do is set up uh, is to push it up to github we can paste this in here straight from the instructions uh, you will tell it to track uh, our master and remote master on origin um, that's uh, that's something that you won't need to do on a regular basis uh, once we do this uh, it'll push it up to github you can see it counted the objects it's writing the objects that's items used internally uh, and then it tells us where it's being pushed to and it's saying telling us that it created a newer branch on the remote side and we're pushing master locally to the remote master and then it also tells us that master is set up to track uh, the remote branch uh, from origin on the branch master. Uh, my prompt also tells me that we're on master as well. And so now, now that we've done that, all we need to do is head back to the browser to confirm that we've done what we thought we've done, refresh the page, and now you can see the project. That's it.